All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, Nate and I are going deer hunting for the first time. This is my first time in a couple of years. We've got the blinds set up. You saw that in the video last week. And we got the corn out. We've parked probably about 200 meters away from the entrance. So you wonder why I'm not wearing camo. The inside of the blind is black. Hence the reason I'm wearing a black hoodie. Nate, on the other hand, yeah, we're rocking red shorts. Anyway, let's sneak down there and see if anything's in there. Mosquitoes are brutal. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me, but we don't want to make anything too loud. Have a look. Well, guys, my expectation is that they're going to come from the right, which is over there. See our corn pile at 20 yards. There's a lot of sign in the path over here. So they have ate quite a bit of our corn. Last week, as you saw in the last video, there wasn't too many tracks down here. This time, there's a lot of tracks. So they light the corn, got some cover scent on us. The mosquitoes are brutal. It's only 20 degrees Celsius, so the mosquitoes are trying to get their last bite. Anyway, we're going to switch it around here and see if something starts moving. So we got a southeast wind, which is going to work really good in our favor because it's blowing our scent right across the river. So at least they're not going to wind us walking up on us. Alright guys, it's obviously the next day. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. Nothing. We sat, and we sat, and we sat. It was actually pretty cool. Me and Nate had a pretty good conversation. But it was windy. And I mean, it was pretty windy. So we didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything. Nate, on the other hand, for at least an hour, swore up and down that he was watching a deer that was about 30 yards to our right. I looked numerous times. I think he got a case of seeing something that wasn't there. But anyways, we sat there and waited and waited. I knew there was a storm coming. I seen it on the forecast earlier, but we were hoping to get to dark. Uh, just before dark, the skies opened up and it rained, rained, rained. And I had to get all my camera equipment, probably about 500 meters back to my truck. So we just packed up and hauled out with no outro, no nothing. Right now, I got a whole bunch of wood scattered out on the deck ready to make some calls. Jen just tells me we're going to get pumpkins. Let's go get pumpkins. guys well day two out here at the farm I cannot believe I forgot my tripod at home I didn't actually film an outro for day one when Nate and I rode here the skies opened up and we got wet we had to hustle back anyway I'm flying solo today Nate couldn't make it so we're gonna go down and see what's happening Okay guys, I kind of knew this was going to happen. All our cover here, it all died off. Anyway, I'm going to go and put out some attractant. We're going to have a look around see what kind of uh, sign we have around our corn pile. So you remember when, sorry about that, remember when Nate and I were out here, we put out the corn, we put up the blind, we found a few old small tracks, nothing big, but have a look at this, the size of that one, that's 15 feet 
in front of my hide. Okay guys, so I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Like I said, I didn't bring my tripod. All I have is the small tripod that I vlog with. Or I'm gonna have to set it outside the blind and reach out with my hand to turn it on when a deer comes. Either way, we'll see if we can make it work. say nothing. That squirrel sounded like a dump truck coming through the bush. Anybody that's hunted deer and has heard that, it gets your blood moving, it gets your heart pumping. That's a big letdown when you see it's a squirrel. Anyway, I can hear some thrashing probably about 300 meters to my right, actually right behind you, but uh, nothing's moving in yet. Corn pile is just about gone, so I'm gonna have to bring out some corn next time I come out. Just sitting there waiting, enjoying the outdoors. Alright guys, it is pretty much dark. Got a goose down here in the river that's running from something. I'm not sure what's chasing them, but something was chasing them. We're going to make our way back out towards the truck. There's a whole bunch of sign at the entrance to here. We're going to head back up there real quiet, just in case something's there. Alright guys, well as you know, I like to keep my outdoor adventures as real as possible. So when I'm fishing and I catch fish, you see it. When I'm fishing and I don't catch fish, you still see it. Hunting's no different. Nothing today. Heard a couple things that got my heart going, which was fantastic. Like I said, anybody that's ever hunted deer before and you start hearing something coming through the bush, your heart starts going. So that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. As the weather starts turning colder, they're gonna start moving a lot more. Hopefully, we get some meat on the ground. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.